Hello there guys, my name is Ghost Child Dogs to Bob Bob for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from the Alton Towers Resort. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We've got more videos coming up over the next few days. Make sure you go check out our news update uh, yesterday from Saka Diemi in Finland. We've got plenty more to come this week from parks such as Volcania. Uh, we've also got news updates from Parks Burrell Province coming as well. We've also got updates from Legoland Windsor coming today on their February half term event Brick Week. Uh, and we've got so much more included that closed but not forgotten episode on Saturday from Bob at F Telling. But this is from the Alton Towers Resort. Now this could be just a light teaser to bring in that festive cheer and just to get Coaster Boys panicking about what's happened. But I'm going to share an image, right? Now, like I said, this could just be like a heartfelt warming teaser, but it could be Alton Towers saying it's in the pipe works, it's being planned. So you can see on your screen now, Fan Abidorzi, look at that image. That, my friends, is basically I've cut the uh, what's on your Christmas list sort of from the actual thing itself, but you can see there the actual screenshot an image a secret weapon 9 now SW9 for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about uh, basically uh, you've got uh, secret weapons 1 and 2 uh, they were planned arrow pipeline roller coasters but they were never built secret weapon 3 was nemesis at Alton Towers the B&M inverted coaster Secret Weapon 4 was Oblivion in 1998, the B&M Dive Coaster. Air, now Galactica, uh, was Secret Weapon 5. Uh, that's the uh, flying coaster in Forbidden Valley as well. Secret Weapon 6 in 2010, that was 13, the Intamin Family Drop Trap Drop Coaster. Then you've got SW7, which is the Smiler, the first 14 looping coaster by Gerslar in 2013. Then, of course, in 2018, you had Secret Weapon 8, which is, of course, Wicker Man, the GCI wooden roller coaster in Mutiny Bay. Now, Secret Weapon 9. Now, like I said, I warned you guys straight from the beginning of this video, that could be just a light-hearted teaser just to get the people bantering and things like that. But that could have... Could, I might be looking too much into this, but it could have a deeper meaning. It could mean that SW9 is in the pipeworks. It's being planned. Now, many people online are saying that if this is more than just lighthearted banter, maybe we could start to see work next season in 2020. Maybe we could start to see clearing for this new ride. For tw tw maybe, for, maybe for a 2022 attraction or if we start to see clearing in 2021 it could be 2023 because don't forget it takes it takes the park about a year or two to sort of start clearing the site for their next major roller coaster you look at when the flume was closed and you look at how SW8 started that started work back in 2016 um, and it opened in 2018 you know the, the site was blocked off in 2016 and then you have work going on all the way through winter 16 17 and then all the way through the 2017 season is that the situation again are we going to see a, a site blocked off for the 2020 season and then start to see work over 2021 ready for 2022 or again moving it forward a year are we going to start to see work throughout the 2022 season after it being blocked off in 2021 and then open in 2023? Yeah, we've got to think of these things. Um, in my personal opinion, there's only one real site I can think of uh, for a, for the next major roller coaster, and that is the car park behind Galactica. Now, many people would stress that this might not happen. However, if you didn't see what happened online recently, there were some planning applications by Alton Towers for a, it seems like a more, a better surfaced, more permanent car park, uh, an extended car park uh, near the Enchanted Village. It was on that grass area where the grass car park usually is for Enchanted Village. The sort of changing the surface for that, or just at, like creating a different surface for that to make it more of a permanent uh, car park. It's more like a grass coveted rooted surface, I believe. So uh, I didn't know much details about that. All I knew is there was a pineapple case of like a like a new type of surface car park. 
uh, on that grass set, grass car park area near the Enchanted Village. So I've got a feeling that will become the brand new Enchant, the new sort of extended car park, and they may use the car park behind Galactica uh, to create like a mini space area with a new major roller coaster. Um, like I said, it might not be the case. It, it, it might not be. But I personally would like to see uh, this little mini space area, the Cosmos maybe, or maybe just theme it to like the Galactica's uh, rocket mission test facility or something. Now, some people will also say that there, uh, there's the woodland area near for 13, sort of in the queue line, and you can sort of do the entrance sort of next to 13's maybe. Um, obviously... Maybe, maybe so, maybe not, but if I was to do that, I would take out Rita and I would put in a new launch coaster to use both areas. Um, so it's longer than Rita and also it's more thrilling than Rita, if you know what I mean. But Rita's still getting very popular, so I wouldn't remove Rita right now. I would not remove it right now. So apart from the Galactica car park, I can't think of any areas that they could put a coaster in. Uh, again, you can comment down below, but you've got to think realistically. You gotta think of the, the tree height because Alton Towers is in the conservation area, so if they wanted a really tall ride, you had to dig deeper into the ground. Uh, they said it in the smaller documentary on Blue Peter, you have to dig deeper if you want a high ride. Um, obviously not too tall, obviously. You can't have a BM hyper at this part, but it's not impossible, but you know what I mean. It's just sort of maybe too it, it is kind of impossible. Um, with the restrictions, etc. So you've got to think of the tree height. You've got to think of the surrounding attractions in the area. You've got to think of that. Um, so apart from the Galactica car park, I can't really think of any other attractions that or areas that could add a new coaster. I mean, there the surely is, but you know, I can't think of one. So apart from that Galactica car park, it'd be interesting to see where Alton Towers put their next major roller coaster. Obviously, we did an earlier video on the channel, sort of predicting what SW9 could be. Uh, so make sure you go check out that video, it's one of the earlier videos on the channel, but make sure you go and check it out if you want to sort of see more about what we do with Alton Towers and predicting SW9, etc. But, I personally believe that um, SW9 will happen in the next couple of years, I think, if you think of it, um, sort of going along with my theories of site blocked off in 2020, construction in 2021 and open for 2022, if you think of 2022, that is uh, four years since the opening of Wicker Man. Um, so, and, but, well, five years including 2018, but you know what I mean, like four years after Wicker Man's opening. 2023 will be five years after Wicker Man's opening, so, uh, or six years including the opening year of Wicker Man. So, you know, you've got to think here, like five, six years with, uh, before, after the opening of the last coaster, that's a reasonable amount of time. So you can see it ha now why SW9 has been teased in the sort of Christmas list. Like I said, it could just be light heart banter, but I think there's some deeper meaning to it. Uh, so it should be interesting to follow. It'd be nice to get some construction next year uh, for a 2022 or even 2023 attraction uh, for, for the Secret Weapon projects. Um, and then I think, I, I think many of us think this. I think after... Uh, 2022 slash 2023 if that's going to be the year for the next secret weapon I think that the 10th secret weapon the secret weapon 10 will come on the next park anniversary in 2030 so and I think that's a reasonable amount of time yes it's seven years without a coaster or you know eight years without a coaster but I think it's a reasonable amount of time because it's for the park anniversary so you know you, you've got to think in that kind of way uh, so it should be interesting to follow Thank you very much for watching this theme park news room update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep on the coast alive, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.